So allow me to introduce our next speaker, Cara Scott Dentley. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to give it back up to Ernesto as well as Mitch for creating this opportunity for us because it is not by chance that we are, are all here, right? Would you not agree? And I also want to thank my husband for uh, inviting me because he could have told me I'm going to Dubai, but he said we're going to Dubai. So he saw something in me to let me know that there was more, right? Sometimes you just know that there's more. If you don't mind if I tell my story, is that okay? I'm a scientist. And I just recently retired from being a scientist. It was something profound that was said yesterday to transform making money into making meaning that resonated with me. Because that's exactly what I just did. I said, you know what? I was standing there when I my last day at work, and I actually the decision process had been going on for a couple of years, but I just wasn't ready to take that leap. And sometimes you just have to take that leap. I had done videos while at work saying, I'm ready to fly. I'm just ready to fly. I still have those videos. And I remember standing in my boss's office that last day, and he said, well, Kara, if I were you, I would do it. That set something with me because I felt indebted to what I was doing. I felt like I felt a loyalty to what I was doing. And I felt like I needed to be there. But there was still something deep down on the inside of me that said, wait a minute, there's more. There's Dubai. They're speaking Dubai. And I need to be there. So one of the things that I realized is that you have to transform. You have to think about what it is that you want, where it is that you want to go, because this is your life. You're not living anybody else's life. It's all about you. I know that there are different things that everybody asks me, well, how did, you, how did you do it? Because you may be in a situation yourself, what they call the golden handcuffs. You're in a situation you make way too much money to just quit and walk away because you have responsibilities. And as adults, that's what we do. We take on our responsibilities. So I had to start thinking about it. I said, well, I need to surround myself with a team of people who believe in me. First, I had to believe in myself. I had to trust myself in the process. And then you have to find people that say, you know what, you can do it. There's nothing stopping you. Go forth and prosper. And that team, many times they have different moving parts because we all have different gifts. We all have different gifts. I'm not you, you're not me. What I bring to the table is not what you bring to the table. Even if it's the same thing and it sounds the same, my personality makes it different. Right? So with this team, you start to look around and you say, well, how, how can we make this work? There's not anything by circumstance. It's not by chance that right now, right here, that we're all in this room together. Before this week, many of you I didn't know. But there's no doubt in my mind that we won't continue to build and be there for one another. Because now I feel like the world is my playground. I don't feel like I, I am... Uh, situated where I have to stay in one place where I'm from, Chicago. I don't feel like that. I feel like, you know what? It's not just the United States. The entire world is for us. So as you're starting to build this team, you look around and think about it like there's a room full of balloons. And we're all outside of this room. And we're saying, wait a minute. I need to get inside and get the balloon that has my name on it. Each of our names are written on a balloon. And someone says, you know what, you have five minutes. And so let's say right now that there are 5,000 balloons and there were 5,000 of us. And we look and we say, wow, I have to go in here and I have to find my name. No repeated names, okay? There's no repetition. But your one balloon is in that room. You have the first person walk up and you say, I can go in. I'll find my balloon. You walk into the room and you're looking, all you see is just stacks and stacks and stacks of balloons. And you have all of these names written down and you're like, wait a minute, there's no way. So you come back out, you're disgruntled. The person say, well, what's, what's wrong? I say, it's impossible. There's no way. There are 5,000 balloons and there's one of me. Then the next person goes in and they say, James, did you find your balloon? He comes back out. He say, I saw John. I saw Jim. I saw Johnny. I even saw Jimmy but I did not see James. Then you have someone else walk up and say, 
you know, I have an idea. How about if each one of us go into this room and we say, let me just go find a balloon. We walk into that room and I go in and I find Patty. And I come back out and I say, Patty, I found your balloon. We have somebody else go in and find Mitch. Come back out, Mitch, I found your balloon. Do you get the point? We all work together as a team. Team stands for together. Everyone achieves more. So I just want everyone in here to just start thinking about your, yourself, your purpose, because you're not living anyone else's life. It's okay to get advice from people, but ultimately you have to look yourself in the mirror every single day and be satisfied and happy with the decisions that you make because there's only one life. You get one shot. This is not a dress rehearsal. You know, you look at a tombstone and you have what? The birth, you have the dash, and then you have the ending date. It's what happens in that dash that makes all of the difference. We are living in that dash. And I just want to tell everybody, thank you for being a part of my dash. Yeah.